Okay, for 3B, uh, we have this. So the first thing uh, you want to look for, is there any common factors? Now in this case, I do have a, a 2 that's common all the way through. So because it's set equal to 0, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything by 2, and this is going to make our number smaller, so it'll make the problem easier to deal with. So that's going to be my first step. So I'm going to take this right here, and I'm just going to divide everything by 2 all the way across. That way I'll get smaller numbers to deal with. So let's divide the whole thing by 2. Now we have this. So we would first attempt to see if we can factor. However, this one we can't factor because two numbers that multiply to make negative 7 and add to be negative 4, 7 only has two factors, 1 and 7. So we know this does not factor. So whenever that occurs and you can't, uh, can't factor it, then what you're going to have to use is quadratic formula. Okay, so quadratic formula uh, is x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. That's the, that's the quadratic formula you want to use. This will, this will give you the, the answers for x. In this case, we have to identify what the a, b, and c are. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is equal to negative 7. We want to put these numbers into the quadratic formula and simplify it down as much as possible. That's going to give us our answers. So let's, let's start with that. We have x is equal to Okay, the formula has a negative in front of it, but we also have a negative there for our b, so be careful it's negative negative uh, 4 plus or minus square root of negative 4 squared minus the 4 as part of the formula. a is 1 and c is negative 7. That's all divided by 2 times a or 2 times 1. So that's the first setup that we'll do with that. Now we want to try and simplify this down as much as possible. Okay, so negative negative will give you a positive 4. We have plus or minus as part of the formula. Now inside, we want to do this. We get 16 from that one. 2 negatives gives you a plus 28, and that's divided by 2. So let's keep on going. We can do some more. Not done yet. So 4 plus or minus. Okay, well we're going to add uh, 16 and 28 uh, together. And so then we're going to get a 44 uh, inside with a 2 down below. If it's a square root that you can break down further, you do want to go ahead and do that step. So 44, you can write that as 4 times 11. And if you do square root of 4, a 2 is going to come outside. So that can be broken down to uh, 2 square root of 11. So again, break it down into, we, we try and see what's the highest perfect square that can go into that. That would be a 4 in that case. Square root of 4 is a 2, and that's where the 2 comes from outside. And you have a square root of 11 left over inside. Now each of these are divisible by 2, so let's do that. And we'll get 2 plus or minus square root of 11. And then that right there would be your final answer. You do get two answers here, 2 plus or minus root 11. Uh, that's your final answer.